Since 2014, when I turned 22, every year around my birthday I have been making these types of birthday time capsule videos talking about some of my favourite things, what I'm looking forward to and some goals for the next year. Somehow it is already March again and on the 15th of March 2021 I am turning 29. Earlier on this year in a conversation that we are having my husband Nick mentioned that I would be turning 30 next year and I had a little bit of a freak out, not because I'm worried about turning 30 or that like I'm scared of being in my 30s, so many of my friends are already in their 30s I feel like I'm like excited to catch up but more so because I feel like I need to make the most of the last year of my 20s even though as a whole I feel like I have 100% made the most of like the decade that is my 20s on my birthday last year when I turned 28 uh, it was kind of the last normal weekend in New Zealand before the pandemic really took over Nick and I were up north celebrating with my parents and I remember watching a news broadcast that there'd been a few cases of COVID in New Zealand in Wellington and I knew that things were probably going to start changing. I didn't expect them to change as quickly as they did, I didn't expect them to last as long as they did. I am forever grateful that I am living in New Zealand and how New Zealand has managed this pandemic because there have been so many times over the last year that I really feel and I feel like I would have really struggled uh, had New Zealand been any other type of way, especially giving birth. Luckily Nick was able to be in the labour and delivery room with me while I had our son Finn. He was able to be in recovery with me. My parents have been able to travel down to meet Finn a bunch of times and our life is kind of relatively normal. It's still definitely a struggle not having close friends or family living in the same city as me. There's been so many instances over the last year or even just since Finn was born that I have wished I could just call on a friend to come over even for like a cup of tea or to watch Finn while I shower or have like an important phone call or something like that. So I'm really feeling and I can't even imagine what it's like for some people who haven't really been able to interact or see their family for over a year. 29 is an exciting birthday for me because it's my first birthday as a mum. Last year I was obviously pregnant on my birthday and I couldn't imagine what it was going to be like spending my birthday with a nine month old and now I can't imagine spending my birthday with anyone else. My birthday's on a Monday but uh, Nick is going to take the day off and we're just going to spend the day as a family which is just like the best present I could ever ask for. Some of the current things that I am really loving right now are is rosé. I obviously didn't really have a drink for like over a year and a bit because I was pregnant and then I was breastfeeding so I was like limiting my alcohol consumption um, but now that Finn has like way more of a schedule I know when he's going to go to bed I know he's not going to wake up until the morning it means that in the evenings I can have a tipple of a drink if I would like to and yeah I don't know if it's just because it's summer but I've been really loving rosé I am still loving listening to Rules music. I feel like he's basically the only person that I've been listening to lately because if I do ever have free time to listen to something, more often than not I'm listening to a podcast than music. At some point last year I feel like a lot of millennials, I caved and I downloaded TikTok and I have absolutely been loving it. It's such a time waster. I really have to like stop myself from going on TikTok because otherwise I'll tell myself I'm only going to go on for 10 minutes before bed and then all of a sudden like 40 minutes has gone by. I haven't made any TikToks myself. I don't plan on making any TikToks myself. Uh, but yeah, for now I'm just enjoying creeping on the videos that uh, come into my For You page. And then the other thing that I'm really loving right now is my plants. I feel like all of my plants are thriving which just makes me happy and it makes me feel like I have my shit together. I'm currently binge watching How to Get Away with Murder. It's a show that I've never seen before but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, there's six seasons and I'm currently halfway through the sixth season. If you are new to these birthday time capsule videos that I do, every year I set myself goals of things that I want to achieve before my next birthday so when I turned 28 the list of things that I wanted to achieve before I turned 29 included getting a banister and finishing the DIY in our house which COVID definitely helped with. I think there was like a month in April that uh, Nick wasn't working, he wasn't able to work and he smashed out all the DIY including the lounge, the nursery, finishing our kitchen and also getting a banister. One of the things that I also wanted to ensure was that even though I was becoming a mum I wanted to still feel like me. I think this is definitely a slow process, there's days where I feel like I don't have any time to myself until Finn's already in bed for the evening uh, but there's definitely other days that I feel like you know I've been really productive where I've like gotten a lot of stuff done I've been able to have um, like time during the day while he's napping to do things that I want to do things that are like mindful for me or make me feel like me it was a couple months when Finn wasn't sleeping that I just felt drained of like any and all energy I definitely didn't feel like me I just felt like a bit of a shell of a human but now that he is in way more of a routine as I said I'm definitely feeling more like me mentally there's still a few things I guess like physically that I want to do 
Um, because obviously having a baby, your body like completely changes because you've like literally grown a human inside of you. So uh, I think there's still a few things that I want to do in terms of like the clothes that I'm wearing, the exercise that I'm doing just to feel a bit more confident about myself. But it's not really feeling like me because I don't expect to like look like I used to look beforehand. I just want to at least feel confident, whatever that looks like. In terms of my goals before I turn 30, I have a few things I want to achieve and I've written them down, so apologies if you see me looking down. Uh, the first thing is I want to achieve a work-life balance when I return to work. I would absolutely love to just spend all my time at home with Finn, but you know, money and time doesn't really allow that. I need to go back to work. So I'm hoping that when I can go back to work, Obviously I'm sure for the first couple months things are going to be super hectic as we all adjust to a new routine but I'm hoping that eventually I can find a good rhythm and be happy in terms of the work that I'm doing, the family life that I'm having and then also I guess like the personal life in terms of still making time for myself. I want to get another tattoo, sorry mum and dad. This is something that I actually planned on doing back in 2019 before I got pregnant. Um, and then obviously I've been pregnant, breastfeeding, couldn't get a tattoo, so I think it might be kind of like a nice little reward for myself once I have stopped breastfeeding to get this tattoo that I've wanted for such a long time. I have already mentioned how I just want to feel a bit more confident in my new body and I'm already working on that. And something else I'm working on is a little bit of a side business. I've kind of hinted at it in a couple of other videos, but yeah, I'm definitely starting to like ramp up the side business stuff and hopefully I'll get to tell you guys about it in the next couple of videos and yeah I'm just really excited to have I guess like another passion project to work on and I'm just excited to see where it could go. Nick and I have set ourselves a very very loose goal that potentially by the end of the year we want to be in a new house. This is something that again we talked about doing in 2019 before I got pregnant, before the pandemic happened. Um, this house was never meant to be our forever house or like a long-term house. It was supposed to just be a house to get us on the market, a house to you know like help us uh, get our DIY skills and then now we want to move on to another place so if that happens who knows the market in New Zealand especially in Wellington is kind of crazy so we might not even be able to afford to do that but watch this space and then the final thing that I want to do before I turn 30 is travel and I know especially in the current state of the world that probably sounds like a really silly goal I mean ideally it would be overseas travel I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon so at least I want to just see a little bit more of New Zealand the things that I'm looking forward to kind of go hand in hand with my goals of course because all of those things are really exciting things that I am just like excited to see where they go what happens with them but otherwise I'm also just really excited for Finn to hit all of the milestones that are going to happen in the next year he's going to be walking I feel like pretty soon because he's already like trying to stand up on everything and trying to like let go and hold himself up by himself which is equal parts exciting and terrifying um he'll obviously be starting daycare and I just feel like there's so many things over the next year that he's going to completely change he's going to get even more of a personality and I'm just so excited to watch him grow I'm so excited to spend more time as a family I think that's all I have to share about where my life is like as I'm about to enter the last year of my 20s if you are also a March baby happy either late or early birthday um, I hope regardless of when your birthday is you're having a really great day I hope you have a really great week and I'll see you all later on with another video bye